Hi, welcome to part three of these videos designed to introduce you to the new Office Mail app feature in Enterprise Vault 1003. In this video, I want to talk about deployment of our app within an organization. Now, Enterprise deployment of these new Office apps is done through some new PowerShell commands that Microsoft have introduced. Git app retrieves information about installed apps. New app is used for installing a new app. Uh, remove app removes an installed app. Disable and enable do exactly that. And set app is used to modify app properties. Going into a full technical discussion around Office app deployment is beyond the scope of this video. But all you need to know is that in order for an app to be added and visible to an end user, a small XML manifest file has to be provisioned into a user's mailbox. And we use the new app command I mentioned previously to do that. In Enterprise Vault 1003, there's a new web page that can serve up this manifest to the new app command. And that request for the manifest can be to any EV server. The actual mail app itself has to be served up from Enterprise Vault via HTTPS as per Microsoft's restrictions, but the manifest can be served up via plain old HTTP if needed. So let me switch to a PowerShell session here on my Exchange server and firstly show you how to display the current apps installed for a user. We do that through the git app command specifying the mailbox we care about. Uh, if I execute this, you'll see here are some of the, the default apps that ship with Exchange 2013. Um, Bing Maps, for instance, will activate when it detects a, an address in a mail item. So let me switch to Notepad and I want to show you how to install a new app. Uh, first thing I need to do is get a mailbox identity. So I use the git mailbox command for that. I pass in the name of the mailbox I'm interested in and I capture the output into this uh, MBX variable here. Next up, we use the new app command. This takes a mailbox identity. So I pass it the legacy DN obtained from the git mailbox command above. And it takes a URL parameter that serves up the manifest that describes the app and its location. So for the URL, I'm passing in the name of my enterprise vault server and the path to the office mail app manifest .aspx web page. This web page takes a single parameter, the same legacy DN for the mailbox we used earlier. So with all that in place, let me just copy this, um, just format it quickly. I'll copy this into my PowerShell console and I'll show you running this, this command. So if I go ahead and run this, you should see our Enterprise Vault app gets installed and ready to go. There we go. Now, if I run the same git app command as I ran earlier, we can confirm that Enterprise Vault is indeed now in the list of installed apps. So we'll run the git app command again, same mailbox, and now we see Enterprise Vault at the top of that list. Next, I want to show you a slightly more advanced example whereby we can provision an app for an entire organizational unit in one go. So this is going to take the same commands we used previously and combine it with some other standard PowerShell commands to show you how you can start to get a bit more flexible. So I've got a script ready here and I have a single function called evreg at the top. Now that evreg function takes a couple of string parameters, the enterprise vault server from which to fetch the manifest and the name of the org unit to provision. The first thing the function does is call the get mailbox command, fetching all mailboxes for the org unit we passed in above. Uh, next, we use the for each object command to perform an operation on each of the returned mailboxes. And then for each one, we call the new app command. Same as before, it takes a mailbox identity. Uh, we use the legacy exchange DN and it takes a URL, which is the enterprise vault manifest ASPX page. Uh, which just as before takes a single parameter, the legacy mailbox DN, which we use from the operation above. And at the beginning of that line, I glossed over this. Um, I'm simply capturing the output into this capture output variable that's unused. That's just to prevent the rather verbose logging that's returned from new app making its way to the console. Uh, lastly, I'm just writing out um, for each mailbox the display name 
just for the purposes of seeing all the mailboxes we've provisioned. Last thing to do is to call the function with my Enterprise Vault server and the name of my org unit. So if I switch back to my PowerShell command and run that script, you can see it will go away and install the app for all the users in my org unit. So in that way you can start to get clever in combining the new app command with all the other standard PowerShell commands you're used to in order to tailor deployment to your needs. Thanks for watching.